Good morning. Hopefully I'm not sideways this morning. Welcome to Morning Prayers on Friday, October 23rd. Good morning, Rick. Let's prepare ourselves for prayer with these words. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from, the, from God who made heaven and earth. From Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2. Let's be still and aware of God's presence within and all around. In the beginning, O God, when the firm earth emerged from the waters of life, you saw that it was good. The fertile ground was moist, the seed was strong, and earth's profusion of color and scent was born. Awaken my senses this day to the goodness it still stems from Eden. Awaken my senses to the goodness that can still spring forth in me and in all that has life. Amen. And I am reading from Psalm 122 today. A song of ascent for David. I rejoiced in those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet were standing in your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem built like a town that is joined fast together, where the tribes go up, the tribes of Yah. An ordinance it is for Israel to acclaim the name of the Lord. For there the thrones of judgment stand, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for Jerusalem's weal. May your lovers rest tranquil. May there be well-being within your ramparts, tranquility within your palaces. For the sake of my brothers and my companions, let me speak, pray of your weal. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, let me seek your good. Psalm 122. And this poem is from Gregory Orr. Um, he has authored a, two books of poetry, a memoir, 12 collections of poetry, and he taught at the University of Virginia until 2019, where he founded the university's Master of Fine Arts program in creative writing. And his poem is titled, This is What Was Bequeathed Us. This is what was bequeathed us. This earth the beloved left and leaving left to us. No other world but this one, willows and the river and the factory with its black smokestacks. No other shore, only this bank on which the living gather. No meaning but what we find here. No purpose but what we make. That and the beloved's clear instructions. Turn me into song. Sing me awake. And that's, this is what was bequeathed us by Gregory Orr. So let's reflect on our psalm, our poem, and these scripture verses. 
Oh, taste and see that God is good. From Psalm 34, 2. I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. From John 10, verse 10. The world is alive with your goodness, O oh God. It grows green from the ground and ripens into the roundness of fruit. Its taste and its touch enliven my body and stir my soul. Generously given, profusely displayed, your graces of goodness pour forth from the earth. As I have received, so free me to give. As I have been granted, so may I give. Let's pray for the coming day and for the life of the world. I have tasted the fruit of the earth, O God. I have seen autumn trees hang heavily with heaven's gifts. I have known people pregnant with your spirit of generosity. Let these be guides to me this day. And may Mary, who knew her womb filled with your goodness, teach me the wisdom that is born amidst pain. May I know that deeper than any fallowness in me is a seed planted in the womb of my soul. May I know that greater than any barrenness in the world is a harvest to be justly shared. Amen. Good morning, Catherine. Yes, I am going the right way this morning. It's Friday. May you have a great Friday and wonderful weekend. May your day be blessed um, with the wakefulness that's been spoken in our prayers and psalm. Amen.